Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of the Rifle Church channel. Hope you're doing well. Um, quick question for you, what is normal? What is normal? What is madness? What is craziness? And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. So if you were born into a crazy place, if you are raised in a crazy place, if you're, if you're an adult in your whole life, you've lived in a crazy place. That crazy place to you is normal. Okay? And if somebody from outside that, that world that and comes into your realm, they're gonna they're gonna turn around once they start to understand what's going around, what's going on, and they're gonna say, Well, this is a crazy place. This is madness. How are you able to exist like this? Right? When somebody comes from outside into your crazy place and and calls you crazy because of your behavior or the way you live your life, then you're probably going to think they're crazy. Um, so what is normal? Normal is what we normally experience. So, um, if you live where you're normal, let's call it that, is uh, worrying about black bears coming into your backyard and predating on your children, like me, I will. I I uh, I live in a in a fairly remote rural community in the mountains, with giant rivers full of salmon and black bears and grizzly bears. So I, that is my normal. I have to th worry about things like that when my kids go into the backyard and and play and run around. I have to worry about predators, wildlife. Right? That for you might sound crazy, Jesus. I wouldn't want to have to live in a place like that. But for me, going into the cities, for example, you know, I said, wow, look at all the homeless people. That's not normal. Look at all the beggars on the streets. For me, that's not normal. Uh, especially around these uh, larger metropolitan areas, driving around, looking at these declining communities. The houses are, uh, are, are in disrepair and uh, the roads are rough. To me, that's not normal. Just uh, just the sheer number of people in in, uh, in like Vancouver, for example, there's nothing but shoulder to shoulder room. That to me is not normal. It makes me uncomfortable. But I know that that's how things are, right? I realize that that is normal for this place. Is it? When you're born into a crazy place, then you take the world to be as it is when you arrive. You just expect it to be crazy. So if I disagree with the people living in a crazy world, then they'll probably think that I'm the one that's crazy, that I'm the one that's mad. And, and frankly, I probably should take that as a compliment. So the question is, when I make noise about things like that, does it have any validity? And does it, does it stand the test of time? Does it stand the test of history? Am I speaking through any well-considered position? And can, those, can that position be supported by facts? So, when I see old-age pensioners getting arrested because they defended themselves from a home invader, I think to myself, that's not normal. When Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says, or when the public safety minister says, Ralph Goodale, says that Canadians are illegally entitled to purchase firearms without showing their federal firearms license, I think that's not normal. Because I know it's not true. When the Liberal government wants to give Canada's National Police Force total autonomy to regulate Canadians without government oversight, then I think that's not normal. When the government tables a bill intended to combat violent crime by targeting the nation's most vetted and law-abiding citizens, Bill C-71, then I think that's not normal. At the same time, they table Bill C-75, um, proposing to reduce the, sen the sentences of convicted criminals. Some of them are violent criminals. They want to reduce their sentences at the same time. I think that's not normal. 
when Prime Minister Justin Trudeau praises Fidel Castro and China's basic dictatorship, then I think that's not normal. When the government believes that convicted terrorists should keep their Canadian citizenship, I think that's not normal. When the Prime Minister refuses to answer questions in the House of Commons, I think that's not normal. When the government welcomes ISIS fighters back to Canada, then I think that's not normal. So I, uh, I had a huge list of things that I wanted to, to talk about that kind of follow that general theme. But I don't want to waste too much more of your time. I think essentially what it comes down to is there's a heck of a lot of crazy stuff going on in Ottawa right now. It's not a normal place anymore. And we need it to be. We're headed down a dangerous road, folks. Now, one of the people, one of the group of people that I feel the, the most sorry for, to be honest with you, are um, liberal members of parliament. Because they, they have this, their leadership is taking them in a direction that I know a lot of them are very concerned about. Um, because they actually are grounded in reality to a certain extent. They are, in many respects, what I would consider to be a normal person. Right? Um, good sense of nor normality, morality. Now, those liberal members of parliament are in, a, are in a tricky situation because they're not respected by their own leadership. They're shut out of the conversation, but they're expected to toe the party line. There is a growing consensus amongst uh, Canadians is that the Liberal Party of Canada will not be the next government. I mean, Canadians are getting pretty fed up with this, this divisive uh, method of regulating and governing our country. And those Liberal members of Parliament who, frankly, are, can't take much more of this you either go down with the ship or you cross the floor. 2019 is just around the corner. You have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Bill C-71 targets the wrong group, and you know that. Bill C-75 lifts up the wrong group, and you know that. You have to make a decision. It's Riff signing off. Hope we're all doing well, and as always, Maple Leaf up.